Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to do some draconian evolution. Just basically all of it is going to be draconian evolution today. So let's get started. So I'm going to feed these two turtles if I can get them to reach them. Sometimes it's difficult. I can't, I can't want to click. There we go. Let them do their thing. <clears throat> They'll start digging in the sand in a minute. <laughs> or she. So here we have got the draconian evolution stuff already set up. I want to make a power pot one. So for that we need two blocks of emeralds, not too difficult, two blo four blocks of cast iron and one basic energy cube from mechanism recipe for that. But you can't see as it happens, but we'll just craft it up. <clears throat> and I think I've got a problem here because I've got a feeling I haven't got enough power. In fact, I'm sure I haven't got enough power because I was watching my previous attempt at this video. These are um, mechanism pipes and underneath here we have the, uh, the pipe going in. So this is actually almost empty, as you can see. But for some reason, it probably needs an input at the back. So let's have a look at the configuration of this one. So the back's output. So we need the back to be, oh, okay, in and out probably is the best to do. And that should then start to power stuff up. Yes, it is. It's getting a little bit of power. Um, and these should be working, but I don't think they are working for some reason or other. We just say out 280 FE per tick. So I guess that's putting stuff out. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm wasting time. Let's just, let's just, well, that's charging them because they take a long time. The, the power pot uh, version one takes 128 million OP, which is FE. So let's get from here a gate. I've got three of these ender gates from uh, power. And we'll put one of those on this on this battery here, or the energy cell, or the energy cube in this case, and that should then start to charge things up. As you can see, it is. It's got to fourteen million FE now, which is great. So these will also be charging up. Yes, they are good, as you can see. So the next thing I want to do after I've made this is to make the second tier of these, and that is with this stuff. Here. It's not this one actually. This is the basic, basic fusing and crafting injector. Now we've got nine at the moment. We actually need ten. There we go. So let's just take this, and I'm going to upgrade this one. If you have a look at these, of this, we upgrade this with another four blocks of cast iron, two blaze meshes, which is basically nine blaze rods, and an advanced energy cube. We'll make the second tier of these. This costs 256 million OP, which is a reasonable amount of power. But what I also want to do today is to make the draconic staff of power. Well, actually, I don't need to make this today. We can make other bits. And this has actually got 10 items. So as you can see, we've only got nine fusion crafting injectors, so I've got to make a tenth. We'll do that. I think I'll do that on camera. So we'll do that one. So let's do that. Oh, we're starting this is basically just these things in here so one two draconian cores one block of draconium and four diamonds we'll make the, we'll make the wyvern version of this i'm missing something what i'm missing missing um oh yes i need a, a wyvern a wyvern core i forgot that one like that that should be enough yes we can now craft this it actually doesn't take too long because it's there's not that much power involved in this one. So while this is while this is working here, which won't take very long, I'll have to get the next set of ingredients out to make this. So that was two wyvern cores, a block of draconium and a diamond should allow us to upgrade this one. I'm putting these in my hot bar here because if I don't, sometimes quests don't register, even though I've completed this quest already. So let's go and get this one going. And we've got, let me have our tenth. I probably am not going to do this today. Um, the reason I'm not going to make it today is um, I've got to make all the other bits before it goes into this. So we've got to make the, the wyvern sword and then we've got to make the draconium sword. If you look at the recipe for this one, we go back to the recipe for it. It requires awakened draconium. That's not such a big deal. Uh, a draconian energy controller, which is also not such a big deal. We also need a draconian shovel, pickaxe, and sword. 
and a draconic core. Now, a draconic core is really expensive, um, which I think I haven't made that yet. It's, but it really is expensive. If you have a look at the draconic core, it requires one of these dragon hearts. So this is that's the wire pin shield controller. Yes. I know, I'm talking rubbish. Well, I know that I do we know we need this one. Oh yes, we need that for here. So that's another start. That's four wyvern cores and awakened draconium ingots. Which is the reason that this has actually got a lot of materials for that one. So I don't know what to do. Uh, this one we've done. But we do need ten, so let me just put this one down somewhere. It doesn't matter where I put it. I'm going to arrange rearrange all of these. Because this will, these will work one block above and below it. So if I move this fusion crafting core to the one block up, then we can put nine on each side or, or each face of that. So we can have nine times four, so that's 27, which I think you need for extreme crafting. Not that I plan to do extreme crafting. But let's get this bow upgraded next. No, this is the power pot. Let's do the power pot first. So we need the power pot, we need to do this, put that into the top here, then we need to put these blocks in here, which we've already, pre I've already prepared. We're going to just do one more after this and then record that. I'll, I'll do the others off camera and we'll, we'll make that staff next time. I've got everything prepared for that, did I not? Oh, yes, I did click. Oh yes, of course, this takes 256 million. That's, uh, it takes a long time to get enough power to charge it up. And these are actually, as you can see, are all going up. So they, they start at zero every time you finish your craft. As you can, this one hits zero. And this one's slowly increasing. So it's slowly increasing, increasing here. Ah, can't speak. So while that's doing that, let's have a look at the next one. So I want to do the wire. We've got the wire and bow. And I want to make this into a draconic bow. For that, we need... Actually, I should have done this like this, shouldn't I? So if we have a look at the uses of the wire and bow, it's... Netherite ingots, four of those, no big deal since we've got the seed. Actually, you get a lot of that. Draconic energy controller, which we've already made in the past. But this is a remedy. <coughs> we need a wyvern core, awakened draconia, and these wyvern energy controllers. And they were basically more draconic cores. So it's basically eight uh, draconic cores for this, plus four awakened draconium and four draconium ingots, plus whatever else. Red, blocks of redstone make one of those they're quite expensive so I'll tell you what how are we doing with this thing right we're back when this is finished so just complete it so it can take this out now let's go and set this up it's that there is a problem with it <laughs> we've got the quest completed the problem with it is it actually needs more power than I have so at the moment I've got this one set up here like this on this for this particular one and here i've got some awakened draconium so i yes i created uh wait let's remove the awakened draconium one and put this into a pot so all we need is an empty hand to do this i probably should have started the other craft going before we started but it doesn't take very long so we remove the, the soil from here then we can actually put this on here in fact what i'm going to do is swap these two over so what the idea is let's get these out of here as well and then we can put the awakened draconium in here. Ooh, that's interesting. I didn't realise it did that because this must this must be full. So while well, that's full, I better just make these up so we get the uses of this. So we can make eighteen ingots. That clears my inventory out a bit. And we need to pick up these as well. And I'll, I've probably got enough space now. I have yes, good. So we've got out of here, we need the soil. Actually, I can leave the soil in here. I don't need to put that out. So I do need to break this pot here. Let's just do that. It's a bit slow. And then we can put down the power pot mark two in here. And what I was saying is that the power this requires is actually slightly more than uh, the reactor produces. <laughs> so it's a bit awkward to start with but we'll put in the draconium seed into here and we'll put the awakened one into the level one because we need less awakened than we need draconium with draconium we're going to need stacks and stacks and stacks and what i'm going to do with these is i'm going to get another one but i'll do that later on because or oh, in my own time 
these produce 16 per per craft and it's a guaranteed 16 it's not a miss hit and miss i can put them on the top like this and i can go and get another one out of this chest and do the same thing for this one for the power pot too like this oh, i don't want to put it on the top but i'll leave something you right click this so this is the channel so it's got all of this power in this tunnel in here that's interesting i'll actually move this to channel two so it's got no power in it uh, i don't understand the ender gate on the other side because i was expecting you to give it power to all channels if they were there anyway let's carry on with this i want to do next was the the wyvern bow and make this a draconic bow so for that we need all of these bits and pieces so we need two Dracon uh, awakened draconian ingots one wyvern court and one energy controller plus four netherite ingots i've got this right we should be able to craft that up like this and produce the draconic bow now all of the other recipes that we're going to produce are identical so the the sword the pickaxe and the shovel are all basically the same materials required to make it a wyvern and the same again to make this a um a draconic bow or sword or whatever so it's just about finished let's take that maybe we complete a question that no we don't so now we're going to go and test this thing because it is time to test it i have also got in here which i should have brought with me taken with me before i go home trundle off to the nether are these so we've got some projectile velocity modules i've got three of those i've got one projectile gravity compensation module basically stops the drop of the of the items here we have a, an energy module which you always need in all of the all of the tools and weapons you need an energy module in fact one will do because we've got enough stuff for the other stuff and then here we've got a projectile damage module we're going to test it out uh, in the nether i'll tell you what I'll, I'll go and be there and i'll see you when i'm there so here we are so what i was going to do here is i'll open up the map now i've got um zero's map and mini map installed and i've changed the key so we can open up the, the zero's map because it's much better than the other one and then the feed the beast one but you still need the feed the beast one for other stuff i'll show you that so for example on the feed the beast if it's i programmed it onto p you can see i've got these markers over here so over here is a gas for instance and there'll be one down here too and what you can do with these is you can actually load chunks so here you see i've got this area that's protected but i haven't loaded the chunks and i think you just shift left click it or shift right click it no i don't want to do that console you should be able to load the chunks here so, oh i know you have to do it here claim chunks i don't want to do that that was a <laughs> right i've just right click them to turn them off it's shift left click them so for example if i want to load this chunk permanently I just shift left click it and then it goes cross like that if i want to disable it it's shift right click to get remove the chunk and right click to remove the the, the owner of that chunk which it would have been me so let's go off to the let's go off to the um so the gas and see how we do with this boat i'm not going to bother with um fire protection because we don't need it because we've got the draconic armor with us so the one i want to go to is straight over here Probably here or here, I'm not sure which. We'll see as we go across. So we wish one to go this way. And fly over. It doesn't take very long because we're almost there anyway. You'll notice there was... Um, these slime islands are useful for one of the particular materials that we can get from here. Am I going the right direction? No, I'm not. I need to go this way. Okay. Just check which way it is nearly right okay that way so here we should see a little island come into view in a second here it goes so this one has got a um let's get my bow in my hand here to start with i, I need to get some arrows out of the backpack as well you can enchant these bows um the wyvern bows by the way as well if you look at the uses of them you can enchant it you can't enchant it on the enchanting table you have to add the enchants afterwards so let's go back over here 
So as we approach this, we should see some gas spawning. There's one, for example. Do not, <laughs> did I not pick up the? I did, yes. Oh, well, it's not working because I haven't put the energy module into it. Let's do that first. Oh, alt one. Put the boat and then let's put the energy module in here. There we go. So now I should be able to shoot. Oh. I'm not hitting him actually. Why am I not hitting him? Oh, there we go. So I, did, I actually did get him, but it took a bit of effort. <laughs> let's do it over here. Now you see that what I did, I had to put the money you put in. Let's try this in again now. Move back a little bit so he stops spawning. As you can see, the, the fire disappears when you do that. Uh, let's let's put it into this now, um, some projectile velocity modules. If we have a look back again and see how fast this it's the project is the velocity that the arrow travels at like that there is another one there's a speed upgrade we could put into here which is the time it takes to draw the bow so let's get and put that into here it's alt one i've programmed it to be let's put these three into here like this and then we can test that again you see where it was last time it dropped down to the that position where the where the arrow is and this time it didn't it went straight through here so we should be able to get because it's traveling faster it drops down less Makes sense, doesn't it? So when he, as soon as he spawns, we'll test it out again. See how we do. There we go. So that's a bit better. Have I got my? Oh, I forgot to put my item dislocator on. That's not very good. Because I could have got some gas tears from that. It will pick up the gas tears from wherever he spawns anyway. As you can see, the two arrows that I've put down. Let's just go and pick them up while we're waiting for another spawn. In fact, we could even pick up the, this as well, the gold chest. Oh, a bit slow. There he is. So this time it's just a one-hit weapon. And here we've got, here we've got down here some um, wither skeletons. If I, unfortunately, he's just, I'm not killing him with one shot. I did that time, as you can see, I just picked up something. I think it was we got two gas tears what did we pick up i'm not sure to be honest with you so if anyway in a second we should get another guy spawning in here so let's have a look and see how well we do this time oh there he is look oops missed they keep going in the, they keep going in the lava <laughs> but i did get him that time you can see i've got a ball and a, a bow coal and a netherite Necrotic bone. Gosh, I'm having difficulty. So that's working better. So let's go back and upgrade this again to put in the uh, anti-gravity compensation module and the damage module and see how we do. No, still not killing him in two. In one, I mean. We're definitely killing him because you see I've got two pieces of coal now. Wait a second. I hit him. See, it is taking two. So if I upgrade this again with some more items, we should get more. I'm not picking up that bow arrow for some reason. Don't ask me why. I was expecting to. Anyway, let's go and get this gold crate here. Probably haven't got enough space as it happens. Where is he? That's strange. I can't see him. <laughs> Very weird. I see I see something coming from over here somewhere, but Oh. Oh he's underground, look. We can get him under, under the lava. That's a bit difficult. <laughs> I did I get him? I must be able to him. That's the one. So we're not taking any damage anyway. So what did I get from this stuff, by the way? I got some gold nuggets. I'm not sure what else I got in here. Um, but it doesn't matter that much. We'll go back home now and I'll see you when I'm there. 
So I'm back again. Um, what I did also get was a weather skeleton skull. That was a bit odd. I didn't expect to get one of those. Let's put them in here. In fact, I must have them in my backpack. I should have some more in my backpack somewhere. If not, I'll put them in. No, I haven't got any. Okay. Must have been using them all up to make weather star another stars. So next thing I would like to do is over here. So I prepared some stuff. We'll forget the area of effect module because that's only used in tools, not the ones we've got already. Dislocator receptacle. Tachodium infused obsidian, a dislocator, which is bound to a location, and a dislocator pedestal. And what we can do with this is interesting. Normally you can right click this and it'll take you to a location and give you a damage. I think we demonstrated that last time. Now if we put this into a dislocation pedestal here like this, and you just right shift right click it onto it. Oh. No, I have to right click it onto it and shift right click it to take it off. That's how you do it. Oops, <laughs> like that. I just, as you see, it took some damage and I took some damage. And <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what am I picking up there? What's that eggs? Anyway, so let's try that again. So if I right click this on here, and then we right click it. We don't take any damage, but we teleport to that location, which is really handy. So as you can see, so let's go down here now and have a look at the next thing that I've got here was this dislocation receptacle. No, it's not the one I wanted to make. It's this one. So we're using an item dislocator, which we can put into a slot. We've already done that. Two iron bars, six iron ingots will produce this. Dislocation, normalization, filled projector. That's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go and use this. So what we can do with this is we can put it, for example, where we don't want stuff to be picked up. That's and the, probably the best place to do that is over here. So I want to be two, three, five blocks away. So around about here is a good place to put it. So for example, now if I go and put some coal. I've got some coal here, I've got some blocks of charcoal. Let's put a couple of those in. When I'm when I'm in, because I'm at the moment we've got our put we've got our item uh our item and dislocated enabled. So if I just dis disable it like this and then enable it again, you know it's active. So if I now put this piece of coal into here, this is in range within five blocks of that. I'm not picking up this coal, as you can see. So that's great. That that means it becomes a lot more useful. Um, and I can put those everywhere. They're a bit sort of expensive, I suppose, for what they are. But we'll use those anyway. So let's go and have a look at the last thing I want to show you today. It's this item here. Draconium infused obsidian is actually reasonably expensive. The recipe for it is one draconic draconium dust four blaze powder and four uh, obsidian to make one draconium infused obsidian. And the use of this block, we've got two uses for it. Obviously you've got decorative uses, but the one that's actually interesting is this located receptacle. And what this does, is it produces a portal and it's a bit like another portal. So for example, let's just remove, we'll set it up here. I'll remove this, um, or from here, so shift right click it. So let's just set this up. It can be any shape because so it can have a one hole shape or um, I'm going to make it like this, like this. So we, we're going to make it so we can actually walk through it. So we need it three blocks high. In fact, what I can do here is put a block of dirt here and then put another, another one down here like this. And then that's enough to walk through. We could make it one block higher if you wanted to. And then we put the receptacle here like this. And then that's enough to activate this. So to activate it, all you have to do is put the dislocator inside it like this. So right click this with the dislocator. And then this is opened up. So now you can also camouflage this by right clicking with a and draconium infused ingot. And it just becomes like that. It looks cool. So we just walk through that. And then we come back to the place. I'll pick up some more eggs. Yes, I'm picking up eggs. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to make one of those to put over here where these chickens are. As you can see. And what you can also do with this, you don't have to just use this for, for, for people. You can use this for other stuff. 
So for example, let's throw these items through here like that. You see they disappear through those four blocks of draconium infused ingots. Uh, oh, I picked it up already as you see, just went ping. And another egg. Let's just do that again and turn off this time and turn off my item dislocator because I don't want to pick it up when I come there. And not as it went through, good. So let's just turn off the item dislocator. Like that, and then go upstairs. We should be able to see where it's come out. And here you are, as you can see, we should have the four draconium infused obsidian. So we could actually make this portal we've got higher. It could be any size, as I said, you can be up to uh, something like a ridiculous amount, like a hundred blocks or something like that. Like 100 blocks or something like that. We could put this like this, for instance. Camouflage this one up and then break this middle one here. It takes a while to break this stuff, as you can see, it's quite hard. That's actually broken the portal, but I don't know why, because it shouldn't be broken. Let's just right click this, shift right click it. We get the orb, let's right click it back in again, and this time it's, roof, it's back as it was. As you can see, it still looks. What we can also do here is we can actually open and have a look at our curio shop. And then curio slot, I think that's Q. No, that's Quest. We can actually have a look at those as well. Let's just go. I can't really remember which way around it is. We want to go through this one. And we can actually put the chest plate into one of these curio shop. This body one, which is presumably. I think it could be the one that's actually worthy. Let's try putting that into a different place. This might be a body one, or it might be a curio one. That's a headpiece, that's a necklace. Oh, there it is, of course, body. It's got a picture of a body in it. So you don't actually have to have that in your inventory. It's still there, as you can see. And we can still fly. So it basically allows us then to put on the armor. So we could put this armor on and have a second set of armor as well. Now, this is very handy because. The um, draconic armor piece doesn't protect you underwater. So we go down and we get the slowness. But of course, with this diving suit on, we can go down and last forever down underneath, which is great. What else you can do in here, if you have a look down further down in the acute end of the slot, so we can also have a jetpack. We can actually have a jetpack and the draconic chest piece in at the same time which is really neat. So that's so that's that, I think. Uh, and we can also enchant this as well with enchants. So if you look at the uses of the, take it out there and have a look at the uses of it. You see, that's the way to, that was the one to make the chaos, chaos can't speak, chaotic chess piece. And here we can actually enchant it with different, uh, so what I'm going to do is probably put in protection here. And maybe I put, thorns into it. The rest of them don't really care. We don't want to have curses, that would be daft. Blast protection, projectile protection and fire protection, we don't really need. So we've got protection and thorns would probably be the best one to put into that. Uh, so we'll do, I'll do that between episodes as well. So I've got a couple more minutes. Let's have a look at the quests, first of all, and see what we've got completed. We've got quite a few completed. Miscellaneous, that was because we did the power pot mark two i won't click them now but draconium evolution we've done um the next ones we've got to do with these we should have got the wyvern bow which is a bit of a shame uh maybe i did it no i did have that in my hot bar didn't i and i don't think there's any links between this one we did a speed module we've done an area of effects module we've done uh wyvern projectile damage projectile velocity i've done a step module and the wyvern protect gravity anti-gravity module and then there's an auto fire module that's a really good one as well we'll have a look at doing that um maybe i'll just make it it's because they're not too difficult and the other stuff that's it that's all we've done today so that's it for this episode i do hope you've enjoyed it until next time i wish you all the best bye for now